corner. Here, we have uh, Albina, who is introducing us to, is she Anastasia, what's her name? Anastasia Zilevich. Yeah. Yeah. Zilevich. And uh, this is a lady who lives just breathing alone. We have, a, it's a long story, we're going to hear about it. So uh, the vid this particular video, I don't know what it has, <laughs> Albina knows what it has. So I want you to pay attention and listen, this is at school. There are so many people here. So Albina, please take over, please. From this moment, take over. Well, thank you, um, Frederick, for introduction. So I would like to introduce you all guys to Anastasia Zilevich, who is um, um, the leader, I would say, of the lifestyle where she doesn't drink, she doesn't eat, and she does not sleep. In addition to it, she also gave up all her financials, uh, including house. So it's a lifestyle where we part of nature, we part of our, this universe, and um, we should we should value us as energy and not as something that we build up around. That's what idea that Anastasia brings to this world. And um, I would like to share this video because this is one of her um, interview that she was giving in one of the schools. She does a lot of interviews uh, across Russia, um, Georgia as well, as part of Soviet Union, that Georgia, not the United States. <laughs> um, so um, in this particular video, everything is in Russian and I do apologize for that. We were trying to get uh, in touch with Anastasia. It's a little bit challenging as she is, as I mentioned earlier, does not have a particular place where she lives on a day-to-day -day like we all do. Um, and she um, travels from place to place most of the time, spending time outside of the walls. Uh, outside in nature, outside of any buildings and facilities. Um, in this video, she introduces what is autonomia in Russian and uh, the way to translate it as a autonomy. Um, maybe this is not even the right term to represent the style. Mm, it might be a little bit um, uh, a part of a uh, prana living, but not not exactly to extend where it's all connected to a uh, spirituality, though it's all connected to self-sufficient lifestyle where body altogether is one system and there's one system with the mind and energy that um, push us uh, forward is one system and the system is uh, pretty much self-sufficient. We do not need any food. We do not need any water or sleep to push ourselves forward to live our lives the way we wanna live. And that's the idea behind. So I want to turn on the video and just give you a little bit of uh, the sense of what it is. I will try to translate uh, what Anastasia is bringing as idea to represent what it is. And we'll see. All right, we'll move forward, uh, backwards and we'll start again. <clears throat> so it's saying that this video is just to introduce you all um, um, the speakers base all their knowledge and their um, experience 
And whatever speaker's uh, knowledge and experiences, it might be different from your own perspectives. And admin of this challenge does not um, have, a, is not responsible if you are trying to live the way the speaker live, whatever happened to you is on you, on you. That's kind of. So the, they want to know how nice they came to this lifestyle. So the question was, how, Anastasia, how did you get to this lifestyle? And she's answering that she had the untreatable sickness that the name of it, uh, the name of the sickness is a, uh, a rheumatoid arthritis. Frederick, if I'm saying it incorrectly, please correct me. Yeah, rheumatoid arthritis, arthritis. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. Mm. And that was the reason for her to come to this point to tr start her own treatment. And she was 32 at that point. So the traditional medication and medicine or the medical field was offering only just to help her with the um, side with the effect of the sickness, where they would give her a lot of medications just to um, ease the feeling of the um, uh, all the side effects and the results of the sickness, and it wasn't working for her as it would block all her uh, immune system. Uh, from functioning. Well, she's um, she's going to talk about um, that. She was talking about medical field, uh, the pharmaceutical. That this is more like hypnotizing all population, where there is no other way you can treat yourself because besides uh, all the medical treatment and suggestions that a medical field can field can give you. And as a result, she she didn't like that point because she was feeling that there is something else that could help her uh, where she is.
Yeah, yeah, we can't hear the video. That's the truth. As in the Russian, uh, we can't hear the Russian. I don't know if it's with connection or what. Oh, you can hear, hear you. the video? Yeah, but we hear okay. you. Mm, we hear you. So I don't know that one what? if we can correct. Is there a way we can, is there a way we can mm. correct this? I don't even know. Well, since you can't hear the video, I can just speak and translate as the video goes. Exactly, exactly right. like that, like that. No, uh, no need of yeah. All right. So what she's saying that she started, she didn't come to this uh, uh, autonomia, um, autonomy style right away. It was a process. She started to do only vegetarian. So she moved to vegetarian at first, thinking maybe that's gonna heal or help. Then she moved to vegan, and then uh, then fr fruitarians, only diet fruitarian. From there, she left. Um, she she was feeling better, but then as the time goes, uh, the sickness, uh, the the effect of sickness started to go back so she was able to treat herself for sometimes feeling absolutely relieved but then it became like it came back little by little where she realized when she does not eat she does not have any problems health-wise and in any specter of her life so let me just move forward So she's saying there is no, was never planned for her to even bring it up to our universe, let's say, to, to introduce people to this style. She just was doing her treatment. So uh, more and more, uh, she started to practice dry fasts. She started to do long dry fasting just to see how her body reacts because whenever she was on a dry day, she would not eat or uh, drink anything. Her body would feel absolutely relieved from the sickness and all the effects of sickness. So she started to do a longer uh, dry uh, fast fasting without water, including, and see if that's going to improve her life in a physical state better or do it better like work for her better than the traditional dry fast so she's saying that was her lifestyle she wouldn't eat for six three to six days she would not drink any anything and then she would come out would eat something like would snack on something not eat as a traditional meal would snack on something and she, like once or twice a day and then she would go back after this two days of coming out back into dry uh days as well back into her life with uh, no food, no drink. So uh, this practice of living mostly on a dry, during like dry, doing a dry fasting uh, showed her and proved the point that she, her body physically feel healthy and self-sufficient when she does not eat and when she puts some food into her mouth and like even that um, little amount of food once in a while uh, she's uh, bringing examples like like months of dry fasting you know, which she breaks every six days with a uh, one meal uh, which contains only the um, uh, orange juice or um, pick, um, what is the name? Avocado. So whenever she eats, she would feel sick again, not the sick sick, but it wouldn't, her body would react on food negative. She would feel tired and exhausted every time she would eat something. So she decided to see how long she can go without food.
so the most of her diet was dry fast and from time to time only something raw raw food uh, which is like the nut or it would be um grapes a little bit of grapes that would be like her breaking through the dry fasting eating this little little amount of uh, meal and her body would react on this meal a little meal uh with a um, pain in her uh, joints uh with um uh, not the bruises but would react negatively where she would get some pain. Uh, so the, she would have, uh, after the fruits, she would have a reaction of body where she, her uh, taste buds are uh, not used to that. Um, fruit juice because she mostly was living through the doing a dry fasting uh, so she would burn her mouth uh, with the fruits uh, well because she most of her life she wouldn't eat uh, most of those days she wouldn't eat and would break uh, that fastening with the fruit but let me see what key point I want to give you So as a part of this um, transition into a lifestyle self-sufficient without support of food or um, water, uh, the sleep came, came in too as a practice and uh, as a um, checking how uh, practice, I would say, how, to, how this works if she would take a uh, sleep. And that came from a Russian doctor, Buteiko name who represent the scientific um, breakthrough where he is saying that uh, people die during the sleep uh, because the body uh, breathes. We need a, we breathe very deep when we sleep and during the deep breathing, that's where the body um, have a certain reaction where we just disconnected from the nature, from the energy in the world. You know what? It's just my translation and it's not exactly like word in word what Anastasia is saying, but uh, let me just see if I can find a better approach to what she's saying. So that doctor, Buteka, that I am referring, that Anastasia referring to, he said in his research that sleep is very bad and um, it's very crucial to a body for health living not to sleep. So if people sleep, they die. During the sleep, they get old, not during the awakening stage. So he had that breaking through material and research done in Russia and he was banded for his research where she found his research and lectures and she started to practice uh, applying all his research to herself and stopped um, doing a sleep. Um, she, and the name of that is sleep deprivation, I believe. So that's where she added sleep to her dry fasting lifestyle. So that research done by that Dr. Buteka on regards to sleep 20 years ago. And so she started to deprivate sleep at that point at her 32 as well. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm just in time distance. So uh, her point is all that we do, the food, the drink, water, the sleep, including is a, a stimulations. They are stimulate our bodies and lifestyle. 
where it gives us some certain stage, it gives us an energy. And then what happened when the energy on the peak of itself, it drops. So it always give energy and in return, it takes energy out of us. So, and she's decided to take off all that um, uh, spike with the energy, uh, with uh, take off everything that um, bring us the energy and then take it away. So she, she took off of her life, everything that was giving energy um, and then would take it back. So similar with coffee, uh, as an example, coffee gives us an energy and then in return, it takes energy off of us. An hour later, we feel exhausted, we feel sleepy and so on. So she is talking about a lot uh, sleep, why and how as uh, more and more lately, we have a lot of researchers that are proving the point where sleep is actually does not work for humanity, but works against because uh, it has a, a lot of uh, effect on the body. So the better, if you want to try and um, live a better quality of life, be more um, conscious about what you do and how you live, uh, live, you should start to deprivate sleep. It will give you options to wake up, to, to be awakened. And So where she is also saying, if you would start to deprivate sleep, that is a result, you would get uh, consciously aware of the, not just life that we see, but everything else. So this is like eye opening. It's like awakening uh, yourself, not just physically, biologically, altogether. The, the lifestyle and everything, you would see it from other perspectives. So she brings more awareness to uh, deprivation of sleep will bring more awareness to why we're here and what we do on this planet. People concerned about, um, a lot of people of course concerned about how could possibly uh, somebody go for so long and live years and years with no drink water. All right, we'll take a food away. But how about water? Because water is a main supply. And she's answering that, well, the, the people concerned that there is a dryness in your mouth and then the blood sickening and stuff like that. A lot of side effects that we are aware from medical field what could happen or possibly happen to our body if we're not consuming the water. And she's explaining that this is all a dogma that is um, that we grew up with. And this is so mistakenly incorrect that um, we do not need water for be alive. And uh, yes, you will have a dry mouth for uh, from like for sometimes at the beginning when you give up a water, but then that dryness goes away because body adjusts to not having a water. Body releases all uh, excess of water in the body. And after the all excess of water that we do not need, leave the body, you will not going to have dry mouth anymore. So you would not um, crave for water or liquid once all the body, uh, all the access of water leave the body. So, and uh, 
very interesting point to it. She's saying that the food is not as bad to a body as a water. So the first thing that you would want to go with is a give up a water because, um, because why? Let's see. So the people is, uh, as I'm saying, um, concerned about how come if uh, everybody and every doctor and doctrine is uh, referring to us as a human being, a body biologically contain 90% of water, how come we, uh, we need to give up of water? How are we gonna survive? And she is saying, see, this is a point. If you are in 90% contain water in your body, you are a water. Why do you need to put more water into your body? You already have all that you already need. You do not need to put anything more. So, and the secret is that she's like, I have so much experience and knowledge that I want to share with you all because all this doctrines and all those researches and um, every, every single lifestyle that we know is so mistaken. It's so mistaken and uh, interact and not in a like, um, from the perspective where we do not know exactly what is the right way to live, that we are sufficient, we're self-sufficient, we do not realize. She's referring to herself and people like her who don't eat, don't drink, and don't sleep. And she, you can see she is not skinny. She's not skinny, like uh, sick skinny. She, she is talking, she is living, she has her lifestyle with no anything putting into her body. So, so also the, the um, point that she brings that if people sleep, uh, this is also very um, much connected to ego. So she's saying the more you have ego in you, the more you need, you need, uh, you crave sleep. So she's saying, for example, I sleep, slept um, last night, uh, up to one hour, she took a nap, she couldn't, she took a nap, and she's like, when I woke up, I felt like broken in pieces, and um, that happened to me every single time, if I fall asleep somehow for 10 minutes, I feel broken in pieces, and uh, that's where I never feel the same way, this way, when I do not sleep, and I force myself to be awake, And the food works the same way. So food is also as a part of our ego. Uh, the more we have ego, the, the better our hunger or cravings for food. So for for her, what works to deprivate sleep is uh, she she goes outside and she runs. If she feels like she is falling asleep or there is um, a sleep coming her way, she gets up and she push herself to work out or go outside. Um, also from um, what I know from those people, from this type of people, um, from other people, what they do um, separately from Anastasia. I know a lot of people who, what they do during the night, they signed up for a 24 hours gym and they go force themselves to go to the gym. We have another one. Her name is, um, um, I don't remember the name exactly. She's from Moscow and she is not sleeping, not eating and not drinking for the last, uh, 16 months um, 
what is her name? We have her video here too. Um, and she goes to gym every single night. She goes to a 24 hours gym right next to her house. And that's where she spends her nights. I know you guys can hear the visual and I'm trying to get information so I can translate for you. Mm -hmm. So, Interesting point that she brings is uh, what happened and why, why we sleep, right? So she is saying from her own experience, uh, from all her knowledge that she has. So every single one of us has a certain amount of energy daily, right? So we wake up in the morning, we have a certain amount, level of energy for us to do this, this, the other all our chores that we have for the day. And she's saying, if we didn't real, uh, real use the full potential of energy that we have for the day, that energy, access of energy that left we didn't use, goes against us and pushes us into the sleep. So that access of energy makes us use it during like it, it, it hits us back and the way it hits us back is pushes us into the sleep so we fall asleep because we didn't use that access of energy to release that energy and without falling asleep you need to go outside and do something work out or release that energy and you're never going to want to sleep then uh, as an example she also bring up um the other circumstances where we never want to sleep when we are at the club or we dancing or we're hearing our favorite song even if we were falling asleep next to our bed or in the bed if we hear our favorite song we are able to jump out of the bed and dance and then what happened after we do not want to fall go to sleep right so she's like we release the energy that pushes us into the sleep in this way you are released it by dancing it out or doing activity this way you used it i'm sorry if it's a, a little bit confusing we, we get you quite well i get you quite well i'm 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 i'm, I'm, I'm worried about time but i'm so interested in what is going on but we go we, let's go on up to where we can we can reach today we can we can finish the whole thing yes, yes. i know i know mm. let's see. so also this is another point where she found herself that works for her and for everybody who does it uh, how to fight this sleep, how to fight this uh, going to sleep and wanting to sleep. She found that if she would, uh, if she serves other people, if she goes to a speak, she volunteers for something to help people, she never wants to sleep. So if she does it, if she releases her energy through help others, she never feel um, that, um, craving on going and rest and she can go do it like on and on and on without any breaks let me just remove go forward a little
so and uh, another point that she's like okay i am a person here the one that doesn't eat doesn't drink and does not sleep and i have so much energy that i can uh, overdo all of you guys here who eat and sleep and drink and you know what this um and uh, on top of that you all she's saying sleep during the night thinking that you're going to have more energy in the morning where I don't sleep at all and during my night time I am trying to help and I do a 12 hours um, speaking events every single night she has a group actually on a telegram uh, app where she speaks there she used to do it every single night she would spend like up to 12 hours talking to people there is over 2000 participants and everybody would talk and ask her question and she would freely openly answer every single question that would be her way to um uh spend the night let me go forward So the point is that people think that um, there is a simulation of our energy and uh, our being alive is outside of you, of you. We are the real source of our energy and stimulation for life force is inside of us. And we do not need anything to put on in our body to wake us up. And uh, everything refers to a love. She refers everything to love. So when you do not drink, you do not sleep, you do not uh, eat, you start to realize, you start to look at the people uh, like everybody is you. You start to see you in everybody and you start to see love in everything that goes on around you. Also, I want to bring up, she's referring that she she's actually not out of her mind. She has a uh, medical degree. She has a um, scientific degree. She has an um, uh, astrology degree. She has a numerology degree. She's very, very well educated. And she came to this point in lifestyle, not all of a sudden. She came through her own experience where she found what works and how people actually can be self-sufficient from the inside without any um, um, any support from outside. If you try to, if you even try to, to go and try go without food and drink, uh, without sleep, try to do it for some times, you will get your life back in a, in a way where you would, everything in life gonna fall into the place. If you had a bad, not a good relationship with your parents or with a relative or somebody, that will be resolved on its own. You would not even need to do anything. So everything in your own life will come to where it should be and would um, all the problems would go away. For It's like a magic. It's all like a magic. And all you need to do, just stop consuming. All right.
And the very important point that this lifestyle is not the lifestyle for people that think, okay, so um, this is me crazy and I need to go and isolate myself because everybody is different and they're probably going to trigger some of my bedside and uh, get me back into the food. No way. She's saying this is very social. You need to understand that you cannot go like monks and live uh, somewhere, um, like try doing it yourself. You should be open with what you do. You should be uh, connected always with people and bring this to, to awareness because this is the only way you will be um, uh, fulfilled. Let me go back uh, for a little. So she's also noticing a very interesting fact that when she gave up all that lifestyle, um, uh, traditional lifestyle, things started to change around her where people would pass by um, angry dog, wild dog and the dog would be about to fight and uh, tear the person apart and she's like I will be passing by that dog right after the other person would pass and then the same dog gonna follow her and never ever gonna even um, bark on her she's like I've noticed a lot of things started to happen like that everything the starting from the little thing to the very wild thing things started to change for me. And she's like, that is, I have, a, I have a full pockets of the stories like that, that you would never believe that they can have. And she also saying that if you think it's for a single person, for a, a lonely person, because this is very hard uh, lifestyle. No, she said, um, I have a lot of people that have a family and their um, mother in the family is um, actually autonom, auto, autonom, I'm sorry, autonomy, that's autonomy, which is we, who is sorry for my language, she's the same way as I do, uh, live the same way as I do, she does not eat, she does not drink, she has three kids, she deprivates sleep, and it's possible, it's all possible even in the family, things change in the family as well for them, where their uh, family issues or arguments resolves in different ways, it's completely normal to live this life in a family. So there is an interesting question that probably bother a lot of you guys as well, where um, the lady, I'm sorry, I'm hearing some noise here from Casey's. Could you please mute your, not my Casey's, I'm sorry. Okay, great. So the lady is uh, wondering, she's saying, uh, Anastasia, you were telling us if I wouldn't even try to not eat, not sleep and um, not drink water for at least one day, things gonna ch go different in my uh, life or maybe uh, things in my family would ease out, is, 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 is out maybe, right? Um, and uh, she's like, but I feel so exhausted by the end of the day. 
without food and uh, without energy. And Anastasia is answering that this is a normal process for the body where we used to eat. How old that lady is? Like, let's say 62. All your 62 years, you were eating three times a year, uh, a day. So it's totally normal for body. First, get off of all stimulations from out, outside stimulations, which are food, sleep, because you are doing it for 62 years and now you want a result in one day. No, the body needs uh, to take uh, rid of, uh, get rid of all that toxins and all that um, stimulations first. And this is also the process. So it's normal. And again and again, she's going back to the point. Please remember, as I'm saying, first stimulation that you want to get rid of is asleep. The food is secondary. Because as I'm saying, uh, uh, she's saying, do not sleep, especially if you want to sleep. Try doing it in a sitting position. Try do it in a chair. Don't do a bad um, in the bed. Let's take an, as an example, any bug. What happened to the bug if you put the bug upside down? This is not normal um, state of sleep for a bug. The bug cannot sleep on its uh, back. Eventually the bug will die. And that's what happened to our body because the body of our person, of our human also similar. It's just different. Um, different uh, biology, but at the end of the day, the same process. We die little by little through the sleep. So the process with the sleep, during the sleep, as I mentioned earlier, when you sleep for Dr. Buteka, the, that's science and uh, breakthrough that he uh, uh, proved that what, what happened to our body during the sleep is we have a deep breath. What happened during the deep breath, everything stops and everything slows down. And that's where the body start to um, age during that deep of breath. And this is the only time when the body goes into a, that deep breath, breath, exhale, inhale, is the time when we sleep. And uh, also there is a lot of concerns people raising where they're like, okay, but how you function, how you can function without like all of this and be uh, physically um, in a good shape. And she's saying uh, the wrong perception on sleep and all this um, uh, consumption, uh, that's what it is. Uh, you, we all have it when we we're born. And um, I don't need this all. And that's why it's uh, not part of my life, uh, not even the sleep. And, but yes, you do need to work out. You do need to increase your physical activity during the days when you do not sleep or when you try not to sleep and see if it doesn't, if it does work for you. Because this way you would use this access energy and that's the body wouldn't need to go to sleep state to release that energy or to use that energy. So it's try to swim. And she's saying, I swim daily for three hours. I run and walk for a long, a long distance. And as you see, I don't need to uh, consume anything to do what, you, what I do. So there is a question, how to start live your way? Uh, 
and the question uh, the question didn't come clearly please what is the question again uh the question is uh the lady is asking is uh how to start this lifestyle how it's it's very complex it's very difficult to even understand and how how can we start little little by little and this is anastasia is going to answer that but before she does she um uh, actually also mentioned that she's like see this is all perception mind over matters because we live this way and we were taught this way grew up among this perception wrong perception that we need to consume something in order to live but the body uh, us we ourselves are very self-sufficient we do not need anything and you need to understand this mentally to in order to just uh, be ready for it so she's saying it's easier than you think let's say let's take the sleep for an example why do we sleep we sleep because we bore uh bored most of the time we go to sleep because we are not interested in anything else if you are interested in doing something you never want to go to sleep so find something that you can do during the time when you sleep and you will realize it's already morning and you don't don't use um don't want to go and sleep yes uh, at first, it's going to be a transitional stage, uh, and sometimes you're going to fall eventually for 10 minutes or so, or maybe in an hour, but that's all the process that is possible. So, and also she's saying that if you uh, understand one um, simple truth everything in our universe is here for us to wake us up and we are doing everything in our power to block it let's let's take on the kids in a, as an example they are waking us up or early in the morning during the night or they don't want to go to sleep but well, our perception is no, it's nine o'clock and you need to go to sleep because I'm going to be tired in the morning. Everything um, in universe being created to wake us up, to keep us alive and keep us uh, awakened. And when you take off your plate, food and water, you will realize, you, so you will start to see that things around you are here for you, that they are keeping you awake. It's like a um, um, drug, food is like a drug. It's a uh, poison or understanding with uh, 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 toxins that, put us in the sleep and uh, makes us um, want more and go to sleep. So, and also the other, uh, in addition to it, she's saying that if you, again, uh, she already mentioned that, but I'm gonna translate it again. She's saying, if you're gonna try just to take food off your plate, food and water, you will start to see this part, pattern where every time you're trying to fall asleep, something happened. And if you're gonna be aware of these um, uh, things that are around you that keep you awake, you will see, if you're gonna start noticing it, you will notice, start noticing more and more. Uh, and as an example, it's always happened if you fall asleep, somebody sent you a text or something falls somewhere or some uh, loud um, uh, noise comes from the outside or something else that keeps you awake. I want you to be awake without don't fall asleep. I'm just telling you, do not fall asleep. Just keep you going.
very interesting very interesting and it's very true <laughs> i like that point point frederick do you want me to keep going i think we can rest we can rest no problem we can do it another time again we will just arrange the good news is that we are going to have her herself she's going to be in our meeting we are arranging for that yeah so this one is just like a teaser we are going to get to the group and the people will be able, will watch and will be able to know who we are hosting soonest soonest so thank you so much albina again again we, we, will, we, will, we, will, we will you will select for us another one like that like that or we can just finish this one slowly by slowly what is important i'm here no problem for next time not today <laughs> thank you anyway well, there is a ton of email, a ton of a video Anastasia Zilevich has. Uh, there is another, another channel in regards to this lifestyle that we have. And there is a lot, a lot of um, videos that we can choose and pick from. And um, the point is try to be open-minded and uh, see if some of that resemble with you or with your understanding and view and you mean you 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 say that this lady yeah uh has been in this lifestyle for for how long you know what let's find let's find that because i know it's a a long time ago but she sometimes as she's mentioning she comes out of it uh for some reason and then she goes back again for years um Unless, see, yeah. yeah, as you are searching for it, no problem. Another thing that you also uh, uh, talked about is that this lady has left now everything. Closed bank account. I, just repeat that point. That point. I need to share the other video that we had with you in the uh, in the group. Hmm. What are you, What are you asking? I apologize. Uh, sorry, this lady has left everything, uh, closed yeah. the bank, has no bank account, has no yeah. apartment, has no, it's just going back to the nature. Yeah, uh, that is it. Like, normally, people look at people like this as if something is not okay. She has talked about that. But just just generally tell, her, tell us the other things that uh, are not mentioned in this video about her so that people can be yeah. aware on, on the this person we are hosting. Mm. Yep. So yes, the, uh, as of recently, she was trying to deprivate money as well, as well as her apartment and uh, uh, um, live in the house, not just apartment, live in a traditional home as we know. Um, because as the point of, um, of her, She's saying everything that we know about lifestyle as we all normally know is a consumption. And if it comes from outside, this is gonna pay back in one way or another, either with our health or through our people that we love or something happens always. Uh, and uh, to avoid this as her way of approaching this point she gave up the bank accounts all her money including her apartment um, as a place where she used to live so now she travels um, you can call her during any time of the day night or day she always will be somewhere outside she will be always somewhere in, either in a park on a beach or some doing talking to people um, she has no problem approaching anybody uh, who goes her way and she she just um, absolutely open-minded at this point uh, I don't know how much of this lifestyle resembles with you guys but this is um, something new for all of us to learn challenge maybe ourselves at some point what I really like is the point where she is in service. That is the main thing I really like. You deprive yourself, deprive yourself from sleep, from food, and uh, uh, then now be in service for the humanity. Yeah. Be in service for others. That is really 
in service, yes. And that's the main point that she brings. Uh, Just one minute. Who is this? Okay, KC comes in and then, uh, okay, no problem. We have the story. Okay, go on, please. Albina. Mm -hmm. So yes, I agree. And what is uh, the main point that she brings that she's saying we do need to be in service one another because we're like a mirrors. If there is a people that uh, comes your way in your life that challenge you, that is very difficult for you to um, communicate, that brings some attitude out of you guy, like out of you, or brings some negativity out of you. That means that not that person is bad. That person is mirroring what you have. So work on yourself, uh, be in service, open-minded, understand that this is all in you. And the people project what you still not, uh, what you still didn't work through. So all that happens, happens for a reason. She connects everything to a um, logical uh, reasoning that we are not aware when we cons consuming food, water, and have sleep, because it keeps us um, blindly from the real life, from what is it we live. So, so we are going to have another one, uh, but now tomorrow, mm -hmm. tomorrow yes. we have. Uh, to talk about tomorrow so that people, those who are here can also help us, help other people come in for the tomorrow's meeting. <laughs> yes, we do have one of uh, Anastasia, I would say, followers in um, this style, uh, but she's also one of the autonomic people, uh, autonomy people. Tomorrow, we have a meeting with a very interesting uh, person who also got to the this path and found herself uh, that this way the the way without food and eat and without water without sleep is something really really different she experienced it uh, a lot of times and she's not actually eating anything i believe since march 13 uh, and she does not drink water and she deprivates sleep as well as a part of this whole lifestyle. We're going to have her tomorrow uh, to share all idea and um, the reason why Svetlana, her name, is doing what she's doing. Good. Actually, I have her video here too because Svetlana is um, also very knowing in Russia. Let me find her. And uh, these people have healed their diseases. Like this, like Anastasia had a, a rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis and it is over, it is healed, right? Yes, she, she heals herself through autonomy, through autonomy, lifestyle. And each of them, those ones who have been there, there's another one you talked to me about healed even cancer. I don't know, it was which cancer? Do you the, remember now? The right side of the screen, you see lady, right? No, 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 we can't see. We only have the video for this uh, Anastasia. You'll have now to just share again. All right, so I, did I stop sharing? Yeah, stop sharing this one so that okay. you can share the, the other one. So the lady with Anastasia on the video that you saw, did you see the video that I was uh, translating? We remember her very well. Mm -hmm video that I was translating, there was a lady on the right side with Anastasia. Oh yeah, she's just sitting there quietly. She was not asking any question, yeah. I remember. Yeah. Mm. So that, that lady, Marina Kuklina, her name, her last name, she, uh, she actually um, heard Anastasia speaking at some one, one of the event near her house. So she went to see, what it is at that point she was treated um she was going through chemotherapy she she got a i believe breast cancer and um autonomia autonomy was her way of uh like a last chance to survive 
and uh, change her lifestyle. And uh, as a result, her lifestyle changed completely. She healed her all the sicknesses and uh, the cancer, including. Now she learned how to do yoga in her 57, I believe. I'm not sure. I might be uh, wrong about the uh, exact ages. Let me find a um, video. Uh, she was overweighted as well at that point, and she lost all her weight. Uh, as of now, as of recent information, as we were talking to uh, Anna, uh, Marina Kuklinoy, she had um, two dry two to three she does two to three dry days where she doesn't eat doesn't drink anything during the week and the rest of the week she eats once a day something really light like fruit or two a day so that's her lifestyle now he learned the uh, english she, she's learning i'm sorry she's learning english she learned what yoga is in her ages. She changed her complete lifestyle. She became energized. She cannot believe herself how her life changed with this lifestyle. And she opened up a lot of doors for herself where she started to travel. She never traveled. She started to do, to teach people on a, um, teach yoga for people all over 50 years old uh, and so on and on a lot of things changed uh, in her life very positive things happened to her so yes she was on the side with uh, Anastasia as she always next to her because uh, once you got into you know that you admire a person who uh, brought you it inspired you yeah yes and inspired you exactly that's so true let me see wow. if I can find her video. Oh, let me share. I found one. Um, For the lady that is coming tomorrow, Steve, 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 she's called Ste? Uh, Svetlana is coming tomorrow. Let me find so, Svetlana because so, I was Svetlana. looking at um, another one. No problem. You can share anything you, you feel like sharing. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. I stopped sharing because I want to find Svetlana first. Svetlana. Svetlana actually does once a week video as a report on her where she is with the um, uh, autonomia. Uh, let's see, view full playlist. She has a lot of videos as well. Mm. But let me see, Shami, one second. Let me share that video. Share. Um, let me know if you see the video or what you see. See two ladies here. Yeah, we can we can see something. We can see it. We can see it. We can see it. I'm sorry. I see there are two ladies on our screen. Yep. Exactly. So Svetlana is on the bottom. This is Svetlana that coming tomorrow. This is a their weekly report on where they she is. Uh, there is another uh, one of the uh, autonomous people autonomy. Uh, person with her uh, weekly chat. Uh, so she is in her I don't know if you can listen, hear what they're saying. Can you? No, no. Okay. But we can see her. We are able to see her. And you can't even tell this person is not eating. You can't tell. <laughs> She does look like a person who's not eating. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm telling you, this is so fascinating to everybody that actually what the point is about the weight, right? Everybody think that um, everybody starts losing weight at first. And uh, the 
the thing is that weight fluctuates, but when you get into the um, autonomous, self-sufficient lifestyle as those people present or represent, the weight is going to be uh, a little bit fluctuating at first and then it's going to hit the point where you you are supposed to be uh, as a biologically now, and is it possible that you can tell uh, maybe we'll ask her tomorrow but uh, maybe you can predict is it possible that you can tell after what after how long will the body now stabilize you now not lose any more weight because most of the time people fast, we just lose weight, 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 with the people become yes. very skinny. Mm. Yes, Frederick, but you, sh I want to tell you beforehand, this is very subjective. Every single person from um, who does live this style, they're all saying the same thing that this is very subjective. Somebody loses a lot because they have a lot of excess of uh, overweight, somebody lose a minimum uh, and uh, doesn't change at all. Like you see Svetlana and she looks absolutely normal. Though, I apologize, though her lifestyle is uh, just as regular as everybody else, not, not in general, lifestyle as a mother, I would say, because she has uh, three kids, <coughs> three um, beautiful kids. So she's busy. So it's um, also very uh, similar to what Anastasia is saying. And she's saying, yes, um, I, I do deprivate sleep. And uh, I also sometimes when I put my kids into the bed, I'm, uh, I'm trying to lay with them, spend time with them. Uh, it hits me and I kind of go into the state of sleep, but then I come out very shortly after like 10 minutes of sleep. And that is giving me a, sometimes a boost. Like um, I would feel like I slept through the night, but though she's also deprivating sleep because there is a lot of benefits to it. Wow. Mm. What else is remaining? Uh, they have, I think we are going to have, ask our questions tomorrow. Yes. So, so many questions. Everybody prepare with your questions because um, this is not the normal uh, <laughs> normal guest we have been having. It's just unique, but it's going together with what we are doing. We have been doing very fast. And we know most of the time we, uh, we complain actually that uh, during the fast, sleep disappears and we want to sleep and people say i want to sleep i want to sleep yet now somebody here is telling you that sleep is not necessary actually it's not necessary. it should be the first thing you should have eliminated you should be awake so dry fast is taking you to a point where you always need to be yet we are struggling because i think of not knowing yes. <laughs> i don't know so so there's so much we are going to learn from tomorrow from tomorrow this is a continuous process uh, we are just starting and those people are interested you're going to know a lot of things and apart from this, this thing is very beneficial because these people are healing their diseases not just healing they are healed they are cured from their, dis their diseases another thing is that they are in service there are people just serve 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 just, they have too you have too much time 24 hours two out there's no time yeah. <laughs> so this is so interesting oh, we are not telling people to start or to do but if you're interested no problem but we want to hear the stories first we want to get into the we like, it's like we're in a journey of finding out together as a group and me as the person i mean this journey together with you our june first is still on so uh, shalom blessings to you and um, I think now, Albina, I have to let you have family time. <laughs> you have to relax and, re and rest. So our meeting ends now. Uh, uh, what's her name? We can call her name. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's her name? Huh? Shamira. Shamira. Shamira, hi. <laughs> hi. Uh, so I don't know if somebody has any question to ask Albina. Judy is here, Desiree is here, Casey is here. If you have any question to ask her, if there's no question, 
we we'll can wrap this uh, short meeting today. It is just a meeting for a preamble to prepare us for the meetings that we have this week from tomorrow. From tomorrow. Any I questions? open to any questions if there is any. If there is none, then we'll close the meeting. So thank you so all much. All right. Hello. I yes, have a you. question. Ask how, do you, how do you call these people who don't drink, don't eat, don't sleep? What's the terminology? Because I, I knew I know that you said something, but I, I didn't. Um, thank you for question, Judy. This is such a process to translate. We are trying to come up with a perfect uh, terminology for this lifestyle. In, in English. Russian, mm -hmm. Yes, in English, because in Russian, they call themselves autonomy people. So if I try to put it in English, it sounds autonomy. Uh, but the majority but the the lifestyle um itself the translation means is um self-sufficient like as a body is a one system together with mind and then the energy it's self-sufficient lifestyle so i would like judy to uh call one like use one term in, uh terminology for just to you know, to represent these people, but uh, it's a little bit challenging as of right now, but I'm sure we're gonna come up with a perfect uh, word, a term that would describe the style. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Judy, thank you so much. Oh, do you have anybody else has a question? This is the week, actually, I'm so excited, Albina. The truth is, the theme of this the month was freedom and these autonomous people these people self-sufficient are totally free free from everything the whole system it's not just the issue of uh, big pharma you, they are free from the the, the, the system of uh, the financial issues the political they want everything everything <laughs> so we, it's so interesting it's so interesting we have i'm so interested I'm, I'm just excited for what is coming so tomorrow people prepare your questions Tomorrow it is open. This one is open. Even though I still I'm still uh, campaigning for the group to have paid membership, but this one uh, this one is open for everybody. This one I is just. I think everybody open needs to get to know. Yeah, this. yeah. I think it's yeah. so valid to everybody to understand. Exactly. You know, we mm -hmm. don't know so much about ourselves, so mm. this is valid, very valid, and that's great that we can bring it up. Exactly. So thank you. Thank you. I'm sharing this. I'm also going to share the other one that we had with you immediate, immediately. So I'm starting with the other one as I upload this one. Thank you, everyone who uh, attended this meeting. You are so blessing to us. And uh, God bless you. Thank you. Shalom. Thank you. Bye. Mm, bye. 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 Thank you.